Now back to the possible battle between Walt Disney World and the new state board that oversees its special governing district. In February, the governor signed a bill into law giving the state control of the former Reedy Creek Improvement District. But as the new board members just discovered, the former board may have given away much of its power to Disney. New 6's Carolina Cardona joins us now live from Orange County with the details on this development. Carolina. Lisa, the new board said that the agreements between the Walt Disney Company and the former Reedy Creek board members are going to be reviewed by a team of lawyers. Some board members saying today during a special meeting that the development agreement is extreme. They have tried to take that away from this board, the ability to provide that oversight, and we're not going to let that stand. It's the response from the newly appointed Central Florida Tourism Oversight Board, formerly known as the Reedy Creek Improvement District, after Walt Disney World came to an agreement with former board members. On the day that the legislation was passed by the Florida House, uh, the former board and Disney entered into a development agreement and deed restrictions that essentially stripped most of the governing authority uh, of the district and also made certain promises and concessions to Disney for many, many years out into the future. Today, a special counsel hired by the new board said the agreements transferred almost all of the special district's power to Disney itself for the next 30 years and includes approval to build another theme park along with smaller parks and would bar the Central Florida Tourism Board oversight from making changes to properties without getting the company's approval. I'm surprised that they didn't have this development agreement on their website, on the district website. I'm surprised that uh, they didn't tell us about it as soon as we were appointed, that we had to find out about it late at night on a Friday night. I cannot tell you the level of my disappointment in Disney. I thought so much better of them. This essentially makes Disney the government. This board loses, for practical purposes, the majority of its ability to do anything beyond maintain the roads and maintain basic infrastructure. Given the circumstances, the new board voted to hire legal counsel. In a statement to News 6, Walt Disney World said all agreements signed between Disney and the district were appropriate and were discussed and approved in open, noticed public forums in compliance with Florida's government in the Sunshine Law. And so now some of the new board members said that they're hoping that they can reach a compromise with Walt Disney executives and their lawyers uh, before any legal t action is taken. Their next board meeting is set for April 8th. Live in Orange County, Carolina Cardona, News 6. Carolina, thank you. The governor's office has responded to the agreements that the former district approved. The governor says they are aware of the contracts and that the new board has retained financial and legal firms to investigate.